Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. Just before I left Phoenix for Chicago, where I'm covering the Democratic National Convention for KTAR, I actually revealed something on social media to the whole world, and my boss saw it, and I was a little worried. I revealed that I'm back doing campaign work. Yeah, campaign work. What? Jim, how can you go out there and, and, and do unbiased covering an analysis of the Democratic National Convention if you're working for the other guy? Because it was. It's a presidential campaign that I created campaign material for. Well, it's not the other guy. And if I was doing it for the other guy, then I couldn't do anything that was unbiased, right? But it is a presidential candidate, and it is a young lady. It's my 11-year-old daughter who happens to be running for president of her student council. And I thought this is pretty good. The campaign material I created was a poster. It reads this. You ready? Why'd the chicken cross the road? Who cares? Vote for Lyric Sharp. That's my 11-year-old. You know, as she watches the Democratic National Convention from home, she might kind of pop in every now and again to see if, oh, is dad in the picture anywhere? Can I see him? And she might actually catch a moment or two of what's actually said from that podium. But I hope this is what she takes away. Yeah, an inspiration that finally, a woman of color might be president of the United States, a woman of color nominated by a national major party to be president of the United States. But I hope that she actually listens to the ideas, at least as much as an 11 year old can listen to those big political ideas and, and our vision for what our nation is supposed to be over the next four years. And I hope she actually comes away with this. Yeah, a little inspired, but also with the idea that voting for someone because of their color and their gender, while it might be morally higher ground than voting against somebody because of their color and their gender, it's not really any more intellectual. And I hope she actually listens to the ideas. And I hope you listen to our coverage from the Democratic National Convention. I'm Jim Sharp. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.